Oh, okay. Thank you for letting me know. You should be able to hear me now. <laughs> hey, it is Cowman on Fire. How you doing? I hope you're doing well on this night. Uh, let me just uh, get a thing open here, just in case. So, um, and Sim Guy is here. Hello, and Xylanth, but Xylanth is also on the voice call. Uh, let me say hello. If you want. If you don't want to. Hi. Hello. So, um, what we're going to be doing is two things. First, I'm going to be, um, then not be. Been interesting of me. You've been living in interesting times. Uh, on fire, I see. Keeps going blur and then unblurring. That's not good. Uh, as far as I can tell, the stream is stable on my end. So maybe it's just an I don't know weird encoding thing. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I have no idea but um i'm not too worried about it i i know i've had i've had some problems with uh stream quality on my phone where it where the quality will occasionally just randomly drop and then come back and drop and come back and that that might be a client side problem uh, let me see if i no i don't have quality settings though so i have no idea Anyway, uh, so like I've been saying, we're doing two things today. First, uh, I want to see if uh, my computer is going to be stable this time. Because uh, the last time that I was streaming, uh, after streaming for some random amount of time, the computer would lock up. Uh, since then, I have completely reinstalled Windows. And uh, hopefully everything works now. And secondly, uh, during the last super uh, Sunday Super Shuffle, uh, Mazzy uh, kindly donated me the game Time Spinner, which is one of the eight games that is currently uh, supported and available on Archipelago Multiworld. Uh, hi, speaking of Mazzy, there she is. Um, this this stream is, you know. 80% your fault. No, but... Uh, <laughs> but seriously, though, th thank you for the gift. Um, this looks like a game that I'm going to be into, and I look forward to getting started. Um, for anyone who doesn't know what uh, Time Spinner is, it's basically... Uh, an exploration platformer. Uh, some people would say Metroidvania, but I wouldn't. I don't like the term. Um, but uh, something to do with time. I've been mildly spoiled on a couple of things because I'm doing the Archipelago settings tool. Um, I know that there is a point where you go to the past, but I don't know when in the game that is. I don't know what context. I don't know anything about that, so we're going to find that out. Well, let me start up the game and we can get started. And hopefully everything will be fine. Everything looks fine. Okay. So, there is so far, I've only seen the title screen and the options screen. And there is one thing that I super appreciate that's loud. Okay. Oh, yeah, that is loud. 
It's that simple. There we go. Hopefully that's not as loud. Uh, so yeah, they're... <laughs> Today on Let's Play The World Live, your speakers explode. Uh, so yeah, the also new overlay for anyone who hasn't seen it. Um, I put a little buff and shine to it, so um, a little bit more featureful and nice looking, I think. Uh, let me just see here. All right. So, um, what I was going to say is, um, thank you, some guy. I was going to say, there's one thing that I kind of appreciate about the settings. Change button style. Oops. So, by default, Xbox settings. You can also set PlayStation, Xbox One, and Nintendo. So we're going to be playing with Nintendo button style. Alright, I have not seen anything inside of the game other than the trailer, so let's get started. Um, okay, so we have unlocked some achievements. Normal, hard, okay. I'll play on normal. Planet Wendaria, 1062A. There. Okay, I think everything is ready. Goodness, did I forget anything? There. This is so important. I'm sure I've forgotten something. I'm sure it'll be fine, Morella. You didn't need to go through all this trouble for me. Don't be silly. You've, you've been chosen to be the next to join the Time Messengers. Of course I'm going to go through all this trouble. Everyone is so excited for you. We have to have a little celebration. Too early. Shouldn't we wait until she uh, goes through the Time Spinner to celebrate? Then she'll be gone for good. I thought it felt some... I thought it felt... Uh, I thought I felt it get suddenly cold. No, no, it was just you. Leave now. A world without Lunea. Like a dream come true. Hey, don't you ruin this for her. It's an honor. It's okay, Marilla. If Yorn has something to say, he can say it. Fine, I will. You just got picked because your mom's a elf. I think I got picked because I can do this. Ow! Without your aura powers, you'd just be an angry loser with a short fuse. So I be. <laughs> he didn't like that one. You shouldn't provoke him, Looney. He shouldn't provoke me either. Whatever. Hey, I'm sorry about the cake. Don't worry about it. I made an extra just in case I messed the first one up. I guess that was half right. And their relationship, indeed. Alright. So right now, it's just pretty much just moving job. Getting into fights on your birthday? Well, it's my present to myself. You can't let them get to you so easily. I know, Mother. Linnaeus. That's what we've been training you for. It's much bigger than what uh, than what other time messengers do. There's a lot of responsibility resting on your shoulders for all the Kaelin clan. Yeah, yeah, I know. Feels good to have something to have something though, something bigger. Just doing what everything else does, of uh, just doing what everyone else does. It's never felt like enough, you know. Hmm. Yes. Well, speaking of presents, I have a couple to give you. Come this way. Being a time messenger is a big responsibility. Your mission, however, is much more important. You will need to be able to defend yourself against those who would try to stop you. Take these. 
They have been kept by the Kaelin for many generations. A blue orb, probably your basic attack. While they may seem ordinary at first, they have a hidden power of being able to mimic other magical orbs. Try lifting both of the orbs with your aura, one for each hand. And equip two melee orbs in the orb menu. That's plus to open the pause menu. Okay. Equipment. Oh, for oh, orbs. Oh, right there. How's this? <laughs> awesome. Wonderful. You've always been so talented. Can I use these on your now? Oh, but maybe practice on the dummy first? Same thing. Attack the dummy by pressing Y. You sure showed him. Now for your last present. I commissioned an alchemist to make you this necklace. A very special essence necklace. Wearing it will allow to it will allow you to concentrate your aura into a powerful spell. Okay. Try casting a spell by concentrating your energy. You gotta press A. Oh, so there is some voice acting. That was incredible. I'm unstoppable. Nicely done. Don't get carried away though. You'll tire yourself out if you cast too many spells. Yeah, I can see what you mean. I feel a little lightheaded already. Right, that's the last of your presence. I'll let you get back to your party. Come find me when you're ready for the induction ritual. Hey, thanks for doing all this. These decorations are really something. Yeah, they're really awful. Thanks for pretending to like them, though. I'm really proud of you, Linnaeus. Thanks. I hope that if you go through the gate, you'll end up friends again. I'd like that. Despite being a little sloppy, the cake tastes great. Hey. Hey, I'm sorry about you, Lord. I'll get over it. Jace would have been happy for you. I wish I could have met him. It's a big responsibility, though. I don't envy you. Joan, Farron, and I and our kids are so proud of you, Linnaeus. Good luck. What gives, anyway? I know you wanted to be the next time messenger, but there's no need to ruin it for everyone else. Whatever. Dad gets to be a big hero, and I get. Uh, I should be the one to do it next, but. There's you with your special powers and freakish hair. God's yarn. It's not like it's not like it's a glamorous thing. You've heard the story they tell when they welcome when we welcome them into the tribe, they lose everything. Yeah, well, some of us have things we want to lose. It'll be a great honor to serve alongside you as a time messenger. It sends a spell. He'll stop coming for. Now oh, you're ready. Let's get started. Uh oh. The Kaim ships! They found us! How did they find us? Why didn't no one ca come back to warn us? We will have to be the warning. Go! What about the others? Soon this time will this timeline will be no more and they'll be safe again. Well, I've never existed. Marilla, we have no choice. To save them, we must sacrifice our relationships with them. That is the way of it. And us? We will go in together. Perhaps the time spinner will allow us that much. And this time, we will stop the Empire from ever coming here like we trained you. This is our clan's only hope, Linnaeus. Come! Those bastards. I, I'll kill them. We'll stop them in the past, Linnaeus. We will save the Kalins. Stop! Step away from the machine or we shoot! Mother! Quickly, through the portal! Sell him! 
No, the connection. Stop trying to run. Leave us alone. Mother! You bastard, I'll kill you! No, mother. Time spinner destroyed. Everyone dead. Without the time spinner, I can't save them. I don't even know where I am. I guess this is how the game starts. Ah. No Lundaria anymore. Oh, okay, so I can I can ledge grab. That's cool. Can't get past that though. Berry pick me up plus the uh, heals 150 HP. Have it. That's probably our save point. Yes, it is. Thank you, Zero. Also, welcome. Hope that you're doing well tonight. You are welcome into the voice chat if you want to be in it. Evidently in the Battle of Castle Dracula. It'll take a little bit of getting used to the controls. Very pick me up normal, so it's probably gonna be like a hundred or something. Or 75. Oops. Well, that collapses immediately. Got it. Also, I've grown out of aura. I wonder if I can get up there. Probably not. Yep. Or mm. well, maybe if I can jump. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we just barely made it. And we get an old coat. I like that. If you press, if you press start right away then it puts you directly into the uh inventory screen <laughs> Castlevania symphony of the night day afternoon or whatever <laughs> nice you're kind of onto something with that okay Oh, well, that didn't work out. God damn it. Okay, that didn't kill you. Oh. Thing going on right now. Okay, there's a level system. Good to know. Platforming puzzle, kind of. Whoa, what's going on here? Like this area is frozen in time. Interesting. 
It's one of the pieces of the time spinner. It must have been dragged through the portal with me. If this is here, maybe the rest is too, and I still have a chance to go back to stop this from happening. So, X stops and then stops time. Defeating enemies restores sand power. So basically, we're Prince of persia it up. Got it. I wonder which would be a closer analogy, Prince of Persia or Toho Luna Knight? Oh, okay, I get it. I get it. You want me to climb up this guy. There we go. What is this? Feels familiar. Mother? This is one of her memories. Her mind must have been scattered when the time spinner exploded, when the Emperor ripped her from it. Maybe there are more. Miss you. Were you about to say something? I was going to say it was probably more like uh, Prince of Persia, but uh, I would only say that because, uh, well, I am. But I'm much louder than I thought I was on the stream. Uh, I was going to say it's probably more like Prince of Persia, but only because I didn't have never heard of the second one you said. Uh, yeah, Tovo Lunar Knights is uh, well, obviously uh, a Toho based game, so featuring uh, Sakuya as the main character, and there's a time stopping mechanic uh, that uh, is a major thing in that game. I think for the stream, I'm not going to worry too much about 100% completing it. Um, I would like to get this done before Desert Bus for Hope. Uh, and that might be today, and I might need to stream again on like Thursday afternoon or tomorrow afternoon sometime. Doom. Yeah, I've never I've never actually played ah. I've never actually played any of the modern Prince of Persia games. Well, how modern? Like I think the last ones were like on PlayStation 3 and such, so it's Well, I I refer to modern as uh, anything that is not classic and classic as like the um, like the original Prince of Persia games that were like 2D platformers. Very old games. Yeah, I'm old too. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, oh, sorry. you were talking. You were talking about in the game. I thought you said Al because of what I said. Uh. Now, I I sometimes react in. Oh, okay. So good to know. I can't hurt enemies while time is frozen. Okay, what am I? No, I was, I was going to say that the the comparatively newer Prince of Persia games were pretty good. So I have played the most parts. So. That's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, hi. Okay. There's very little tell as to where he's gonna drop into. Have power beams too, buddy. Oh, I should have healed.
No. It won't be stopped. Not until I've had my revenge. Oh. What the? What are you? Alright. Come if you want, then. Just don't get in my way. I don't know what this thing is, but it's a cutie. Ow. Ah. The baby. Ah. Uh, this is not starting out well. Okay, buddy, you have a little time. Wrong way. I am doing poorly at this. Fell and please. Okay, so that's 50, that's 150. Um, that's some health. Cool. And some health being apparently all health. Yeah, let me move the chat here so that I can. I'm having a hard time reading it. Yeah, you can you can freeze anytime as long as you have sand. The sand is up on the top left. There we go. Beeline Century. Blade Orb. Or with crystallized blades that slice his foes. Not sure if I'm a fan of mixing different types of attacks, but we'll see. Uh, yep, yeah, let me get you an invite there, Zero. There you go. On badge, and now we can hop in. Hello. Hello. There it is. I have to balance you a little bit here. Yeah, I might seem a little off. Wait, was I in shit? Training. What if I haven't gone through time, but must be on the kind? I may not be able to stop them from killing my family, but I will make them pay for it. She mad. <laughs> welcome, to ch welcome to the chat, Zero. No, oh, thank you. Howdy. Barn de Grey, what? Barn de Grey Metropolis? Of, of... Oh my god. With credit or debit? Hmm. You know what? I'm just gonna forget. 
So I was trying to find a way so I can that I can see both the chat and the game at the same time, and it's not working if I'm trying <laughs> to do it uh, on the TV. Yeah, I usually have that problem too. I have so little screen real estate with only the one monitor, it's hard to make it all fit. And I have three monitors, so I have no excuse. <laughs> Oops. And you were mentioning it earlier, I wasn't a huge fan of mixing orbs either, even though I like that you can. I generally stuck to just two of the same, because they swung at the same speed. Yeah, that's the thing. It kind of messes with the rhythm. I think I'm mm -hmm. gonna... I think I'll hold off... Oh, I do have the second blade orb. Mm-hmm. Yeah, every orb you get, you can double equip. Okay. Blade orb is awesome. Okay, so these are things that I can actually look into. Um, not gonna bother reading this out. But uh, I will leave it on the screen for long enough for people to read it, hopefully. Um, which a good... Uh, a good guideline for that is, if you're a fast reader, read through it twice. So how much experience do you have in this game, Zero? Uh, quite a bit. I beat it a couple of months ago. Actually, when was the last time I played this? I have gotten, I think, 100% of the items. I'm only missing two achievements, which nice. requires me to play the whole thing again, basically. <laughs> also, there's this one that we found at the beginning of the game when I didn't know that these were things that you could actually... <laughs> actually look into mm -hmm. um yeah i had never actually heard of this game until uh the archipelago multi-world support came out yeah the name jumped out at me when you mentioned it. it's like oh time spinner i played that yeah i and... actually uh was it on kickstarter uh, i backed it oh nice uh quite a while ago uh, it released three years ago Was this uh, was this worth the backing? I would, I would imagine so. Yeah, I, I've backed uh, a couple of different games. This was definitely a good uh, a good one. Yeah, this uh, Chucklefish is the same uh, the same producer as uh, the first Risk of Rain game, I think. Yeah, I, th I think I did enough um, reading out loud of long stretches of text for uh, for the time <laughs> being, and I'm sure there's got to be plenty more of them in Zero Time Dilemma. But when hopefully I start this two weeks from now, if this stream doesn't you know, block up my computer. Well, so far, so good, at least. Yeah, it happens randomly, so. The, the yeah. idea is to go up to six hours in the stream. And I, I'm fully expecting not everyone to make it the entire time, but... Uh... Right. But that's the real test, right? Can it go for several hours and no issues? Exactly. Welcome to the Von de Grey Public Library. How may I assist you today? Um, hi. Can you direct me to, uh, Mount Attack Vent? 
It must be from the colony. I just love roasting Axum. Let me guess, are you from Wendaria? Oh, I, um, it's, yeah. I knew it. Welcome to Lakayan, the magnificent homeworld of the Empire. As a citizen of the Empire, you are entitled to your very own tablet. Just show me your government-issued ID badge and you can have it. Oh, I don't have one yet. Really? It must have slipped your sponsor's mind. Without that, you wouldn't you wouldn't uh, you won't be able to even leave the library. You'll need to ask your sponsor for it. Shall I contact them for you? Oh, no, that won't be necessary either. He's already on his way now. Oh, wonderful. In that case, I suppose I can give you your tablet now. And that way you can read while you wait. He bought that? Okay. I know, but... I, I don't know if that's how it's pronounced, but that's how I'm pronouncing it. Like, I, I saw that name come up uh, while I was doing the uh, Archipelago settings thing. And I was like, what kind? I guess. Uh, Lakayam, Lakiam, I don't know. I'm saying Lakayam. If if someone can confirm that I'm wrong, I will fix my pronunciation. Just, oh, I, just, I, had, I had no idea how to pronounce that. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> as a student of history, I believe everyone should have the opportunity to learn about the founding of our glorious empire. Oh, I plan to learn so much about the empire. Thank you. Yeah, I've had to take it down from the inside out. What the? Whoa. What did okay. you do? I'd like to file a bug report. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was interesting. Going to the great. Um, hi. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, welcome to the Merchant uh, the Merchant Crow's Shiny Stuff Emporium. This is straight up the shop from Symphony of the Night. <laughs> um. Hello, can you speak? I can never tell with you humans. Yes, like, what are you? I am the Merchant Crow. Did you see me in the campaign? I'm very popular online. What campaign? Oh, never mind. I'm a busy bird and can't spell everything out for you. You want to buy something or not? Uh, sure. <laughs> Thank you. Um. All these seem like upwards. Uh. Create jewelry. Let's see. I guess I'll get a couple of healing items. Happy New Year today! Come on! No, a good look out there! Don't get sand in your eyes! What? It's uh, an expression! Car? Whatever. So, that was an interaction. In your security key card. Oh, I'm not getting that. Not now, anyway. Unless I can get it from the other side. File downloaded. But basically, just the description. So, Lakayan is an entire planet. I would pronounce it like Latchium or something. Latchium? I think that's how I pronounced it. Okay, well, I can I can say Latchium. Or or it might be Lahayim, uh, I don't know. <laughs> um Well now we're back to square away. Um <laughs> You you played the game zero, you say Latchium? That's just how I read it in my head. 
then what the hell will say launch you? And oh, there's there's an actual pronunciation. Apparently, it's it's pronounced Lakiem. Lakiem. All right. Well, thank thank you for that. Salam. Uh, like Lakiem. Yeah, this, I just googled it. All right. Displays the names of foes when they are hit. I like that sort of stuff. That's oh, probably a relic. Yeah. Yeah, this is heavily modeled. Uh. Uh, heavily modeled after a Symphony of the Night, like you, you can just tell. Oh yeah, I've never actually played Symphony of the Night, but I could very much tell. Yes. The Machanga. That's probably gonna require a key card, yeah. Uh, can I can I go up there? Yeah, that was just a dead end for now, right? Yeah. Sorry, I have uh I have the memory of like a goldfish sometimes, so don't <laughs> mind me. I will mention, I mean, obviously I'm going to let you fig find and discover things for yourself, but um, your map is useful. I believe you have the option to place markers on the map if you want to try ah, to yes. remember things. You can't name the markers, but you have a couple of different colors you can use. I personally kind of just picked a color and told myself, for example, the white marker is for stuff that's too high to reach, or locked door is the red marker, or something like that I find to be kind of useful so you can kind of just put markers down based off of colors to kind of remember to come back there for whatever where does it say what color marker I'm using the very bottom right you can see oh, that okay. you, you can change the color that you're going to place down and then you can just you have like four or five colors you can use so just create a system in your own head for what color means what. Dang it. It helps me remember where all my locked doors were or the things that were too high to reach so that when I get a power that lets me get there, I can remember to come back. If you're trying to complete it all. If you're not trying to get every item, it's not as critical. Dang it. I will eventually be getting all the items, but uh, within the... Uh... Within the context of the stream, I'm just looking to kind of finish it. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Uh. So there's... Now that I think about it, there's this one... spot over here. I'm going down that I haven't... Oh, next turn. Save. This looks like a thing. Ah, okay. There you go. It's a good thing that I actually checked here. It's a shame that I didn't go there before. <laughs> I always second guess myself. Do I go up? Do I go down? Little do I know the one path has the dead end with the key item, and I often go the other way. <laughs> kind of playing yourself in that case. <laughs> Five three. Surround melee orbs with spinning spider. Five centimeters. Interesting. Oh, orbs level up. Yes, every orb has its own experience level. When you deal damage or kill, I forget which it is, enemies, 
that orb you have equipped will gain experience and get stronger. Interesting. You can try to spread the experience or honestly find the orbs you like and just level those. It, it's perfectly fine to just stick with a set of orbs that you like. Yeah. For the most part. You'll find quite a few of them throughout the game. I like how just passively destroying the lambs here. <laughs> just do 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 do. And as you see, you got rings and necklaces too. Um, yeah, there's a fair amount of stuff going on here. Oh. All of this equipment, and I still get friggin' my ass in the <laughs> God damn it, I don't have to get hit by anything. Elevator and I probably need to turn it on. And of course, you turn on an elevator by pushing its button. Okay, did I just get hit by my own shit. No, there was a grenade oh, okay. at your foot from him. Yeah, no, I see it. The Colossal Blade, the big one you just swung, it was one of my favorite uh, charge up attacks. Just because it's such a wide area. Yeah. Great for reaching from, yeah, all sorts of <laughs> angles. <laughs> e Oh, I can I can repel those grenades. Mm -hmm. Uh really sure what oh. Gotcha. All right, then. These soldiers are not very smart, are they? They're at the bottom of the totem pole with the lowest paycheck. Not paid enough for this shit. Yeah, still need to... Yeah, I figured there was something here. Still need to kind of get into the rhythm of this game. Trying to see what the game wants me to do sometimes. This isn't like anything we've ever seen before. We don't even have all the pieces. Enzo wants it working again by the end of the week. We've only had it for a couple of weeks, that's madness. You're kidding. But you'll know what he'll do if we don't. Shoot, I'm gonna need some coffee. It's the frame from the time spinner. Looks badly damaged though. They must be trying to fix it and use it for themselves. The thing I found the wheel before they did. I need to stay focused. They knew where and what it was when they attacked, but not, clearly not how it worked. Fools. But if if they'd had this a couple of weeks, I must have lost some time and I got thrown through the portal. I need to keep moving. <laughs> um. Couldn't tell you. Because if I told you, I'd have to kill you now. <gasps> I 
But yes, not not the probably one of the most important people in the world. So is that the uh, the companion leveling up? Oh jeez. Hey guys. There we go. They're like deadly Roombas. Yeah. I think the the Roomba is not the deadly part. It's the cat sitting on top of it. That's a way to level up. Too bad you don't get your health restored when you level up, though. That's how you destroy something, run into it. Ah, personal ID badge. Is this the ID badge that uh, the librarian was talking about? I forget. So the, he was saying that uh, without the ID badge, I won't even be able to leave the library, but now I have access to, to the elevator, so I assume I can leave the library. Lots of friendly boys. Bless your Rachmid. Neat name. Spindle from the time spinner. He must have brought it back too, or it was sucked through. And it was sucked through like me and the wheel. Mother said the spindle gathered the threads of time. But this, the wheel and the frame, I could use the time spinner again. I could go back and warn everyone. I could get back to Wendaria. No, I'll do one better. I'll go back and kill the Emperor before he can ever come to Windaria in the first place. Oh, hey, buddy. So this is the Varn Vergroth of Varn Vergroth Library. The, the ultimate librarian monster. Ow. The solution there might have been stop time. Yeah, when you don't have much of your other powers in the beginning, you kind of rely on the time stop a lot. Ow. 
Ow. What even hit me there? Oh, that doesn't heal for very much at all. my hand off the controller for a second and look what that got me massive amounts of pain pain in the glaven So let me skip it. If I, I think if that was going to have hit me, that would have hit me. I didn't jump fast enough. Fortunately, I didn't. I, I didn't freeze fast enough. I mean, that, that time I didn't jump fast enough. I'm just playing like an idiot. Damn it, I tried to jump. Varn de Varn de Gras. Goodness. Varn de Gras. Eventually I'll get it right. The boss is truly a sight to behold, Megami. Card. An A card. That means a no card. More or less a history of the time spinner, I think, and of uh, Stellan's mother. And Stellan's mother is kind of point of view.
What yeah, this kind of makes me think of is friggin' Jean Grey. You know what I mean? Just the the general idea of um, something bad happens, so someone goes back in time to warn everyone else. But I thought you didn't like Jean. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I don't like jeans. There's a difference. <laughs> it took me a second to pick up on what you were saying. Cheap preggers. That last line is, I wonder if I'll have a choice. This is crystal. Oh, okay. Uh, it's in dairy relationship, I call it. Indeed. Yeah, this Symphony of the Night is hell. Maybe don't jump into the um the force field. Oh, look at the pretty colors. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't go there yet, I don't think. Oh, unless... can I do anything there? I'm surprised there wasn't dialogue there, but maybe later. And it's always kind of interesting when someone decides to write a time travel story. There's a, there's a lot of intricacies you need to keep track of in order for it not to just logically fall apart. Check out this uh, one here. It's kind of, kind of interesting where, like, this thing has existed for a very long time. But all of a sudden, uh, the Lakiani forces show up and it's just a regular occurrence of having to send back time messengers all the time.
there was another D door down here, wasn't there? That was a B door. So what in this I think for one thing this marker here just there wasn't anything there I don't think. So where am I supposed to be going? I honest question, because I feel like I was supposed to Oh, okay. Just go back to the time spinner. Got it. Uh, where was the time spinner? This dot here, isn't it? They wanted me to go farther back than any of the messengers had before. Stop the, stop the lucky enemy from ever finding us. This is what I've been training for. Kill them all. Wait, there were supposed to be calibration gears. Maybe if I... Well, here goes nothing. Whoops. Uh, don't think that was supposed to happen. Here's I'm spinner. Stop like him. Her. Mother. Where am I? Like you. You fill a great distance. I'm glad you recovered. Thank you. You've been unconscious for a day. You have a strange accent, friend. In your sleep, you mentioned a time spinner? I used it to. What year is it? Year of the Sisters, 52. That's a thousand years ago. Are you from the future? Your hours are so different, but is that possible? A thousand years too far. You are in a camp with the Valation army. We are at war with Lachium. At war? Against Lachium? So, I could still destroy them. Stop them long before they come to Wendaria. I don't know what you mean, but you may find things to be more complicated than that. Nonetheless, even if you are from the future, you best keep your origin to yourself. It won't it wouldn't do to make others suspicious. You seem to trust me. Yes, I believe I do. However, you look lucky at me. What? I'm not lucky at me. You may just have something to do with the plasma then. If you've never been exposed to it, your aura. We'll have to study this more. Nevertheless, it would do you well to be careful. Thank you. My name is Melissa. Lunaeus. Welcome to Lachium, Lunaeus. Hey, I noticed that you have magic orbs. As an alchemist, I can harness their power to make enchanted jewelry. I can make necklaces to cast spells and rings to protect you. Nice, that sounds really helpful. Yep, unfortunately I can't make something from nothing. In order to make a new piece, I'll need an essence crystal and a golden ring or necklace. Then I can infuse the jewelry with the power of your orbs. I assume you'll require some payment as well. Oh no, I don't worry about that. I'm here to help people. Money won't do me any good anyway. I'm well taken care of here. Understood. Let's see what you've got. 
I like this person. Uh, so I don't have any rings. I do have an essence. Oh, that's all I have. I assume now I can. Let's finish, take a, ta finish taking a look around here first. And it's just a living area. Halt! Who are you? What are you doing here? Are you here? Are you with Lycium? No, I'm here to fight them just like you. Peristel, it's okay. The maid seems to be telling the truth. I found her outside of I, oh, I found her outside the camp. She's been attacked by the lucky enemy. Doesn't remember much. She could be a spy. Not a spy. You look lucky at me. Well everyone stops saying that. I'm nothing like them. And when I find the murdering leader of theirs, I'll Ugh. You'll have to excuse my suspicion. Ever since my unit was stranded here when Lycium took control of the portal to Villette, we've been beset but we've been beset on all sides by foes. Portal to Villette? You must have hit your head hard. It's how we get between worlds, or how we used to. Between the soldiers, the vicious wildlife, and the bleakness, we've lost a lot of good people. The only ones I have left from my unit are out in the forest somewhere. We'll be back, Harrison. I hope so, Carl. I can't afford to leave the camp unattended. The may is saw. Huh? We could use some help around here. Okay, you can stay. Friendly. We have something to say. Hello again. How are you feeling? Better. It was going to be a bump on my head for a while, though. It'll fade. Here. It'll help with the pain. I'm an alchemist. I have learned the art of imbuing items like this with magical energy. That does help. Thanks. That's quite the talent. Not like you. Can you tell me more about your time powers? I don't know. My clan has had always guarded, guarded the time spinner. Bring people on how to use it. And it was destroyed, so there's only so much I can do now. So you really are from the future. Can you get back? I don't know. With this wheel, though, I can at least stop crying for a moment. It's amazing. If I could understand that kind of magic, I could help a lot of people. Maybe help you. But in the meantime, with your powers, maybe you could help me. I, uh, misplaced my alchemy tools and ways outside of camp. Can't find them? Uh, no, I know where they are, but the bridge is out. Don't- <laughs> the bridge is out! Don't look at me! I was gathering supplies around the lake when something big rushed me from the darkness. When I fled back to the forest, Tara still decided it would be best to destroy the bridge to keep the local fauna out. She is a bit overzealous with her decision. You don't see any more murder beasts around here, do you? Anyway, with your time powers, you, maybe you can get across the bridge and find my pack. Oh, let's see what I can do. Here, take this. It should help clear the way uh, the way to the west side of the lake. Thanks. Ooh, fire orb. I wasn't a huge fan of the fire orbs personally. I mostly stuck with the blades for a while. Dead end anyway. Yeah, uh, I want to at least give everything a try. We'll see how this works out. I might switch back. Who knows? Time a thousand years in the past, stuck on Lachium. There's no time spinner here. It only exists a thousand years in the future. Even with the wheel and spindle, I can't do anything without the right frame. Nothing to do but explore. Greenwood Forest, 38 AE.
You have to already level up. Yeah, that must have been the uh, familiar. By the way, yeah, that's Maya. I've seen I've seen that name in the settings as well. Um, apparently, there is a um, a way to play this multiplayer where one person, I guess, plays as the familiar. I actually, uh, I never heard about that, but could be. Yeah, because the, there's an option in uh, the archipelago settings for this that is specifically start with Maya, and uh, says that it's good for playing multiplayer. Why did I not see you? to be alive. Are those moths or bats? Bath moths? Uh, bath moths. I always thought they were moths because they're sprinkling all that powder of theirs. Yeah, exactly. Unless there are bats that can do that too. I don't think so. I think then you just oh, have just a dirty said, yeah. bat. <laughs> it did say poison moth in the corner there. Yeah. Eat them with a lamp. Oh, I can I, I I can ledge grab on enemies. Good to know. I can also die. That's good to know. Oh, that sends me back. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Okay. I'm there. glad I died in that case. Yeah. Now you can have three sets equipped at a time and just rotate through. Because it's. It, I found it very annoying not being able to do that. And then I found this item. It's like, oh, okay, that solves that problem. So you can have a whole different set of gear for whatever situation and switch on the fly. Before I do that, let me save again. Dang it. And it, it is annoying that uh, you lose all map progression, though. I mean, I guess this is uh, not the way to go. It said to go to the west part by the lake, right? For the uh, alchemy stuff. But see, whenever a game tells me to go a direction, I like going the opposite way because you know there's goodies the other way <laughs> or a dead end. Yeah, yeah, you bring you bring up a good point. Let's go see what's up, what's over on the right. It was especially true for. At least the first dead space, you use your little thing to show you the path where to go. I immediately do a 180 and go the other way. 
<laughs> There's always something hidden there. Why is there already a square uh, marked? Or is that where I need to go? I think that's the water where you landed in initially in the cutscene, oh. I think. Ah. Uh. Commander Keen. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna need an item to swim underwater. <laughs> Actually, there is one server that I'm on uh, where for October I named myself Commander Keen. <laughs> I do want to get back to playing the next one at some point. As, as rage inducing as they can be, they're fun too. Yeah, that, there's one that I saw recently that um, was based on the game Monster Bash, which was kind of interesting. A letter of some kind about the lead in the kind uh, and Luckian. Maybe this can give me more insight as to what's into what's going on here. Megafauna? Oh boy. Yeah, this this game does not skimp on lore. So I'm guessing that my list will have five quests. Mm-hmm. And then you have a handy log to help keep track of any of those side quests you're working on. Yeah, there's there's a lot going on here, and I like it. Level up. Out of my reach, will you? <laughs> yeah, it, it's kind of a thing with, uh... Go on to the next... Nah... I think I should probably stick around here and um, actually do the quest that was asked for me. But yeah, like, you, you really get the sense with um, the Goodbye Galaxy Commander Keen games that it's kind of building up to a fight with Mortimer and then that never happens. It's like Mega Man and Dr. Wily, though. If you if you ever actually defeat him and permanently capture him or whatever, then the series ends, and we can't have that. We gotta have sequels. Does the series end, though? It never ends.
Which what which one was it? Mega Man 7 where Mega Man just like, oh, I've had enough of your shit. I'm fucking killing you. I am more than a robot, and he's gonna blow him away. I think was it seven? I think I think it is, but then of course he gets interrupted. That's an interesting thing to show up in a Nintendo game. It really is, because you think about it, it's like he's a robot and he was prepared to kill a human. Like, whoa, Mega Man, calm down, bro. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I was telling him to do it. Do it, do it, blow him away. I'm just finding all of the other areas right now. It's good to open up the map, though. Kind of see where things are, uh, kill enemies, get experience along the way, anyhow. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's an interesting point you bring up on fire. He was almost the first Maverick. I, I'm I'm gonna guess that it's that interaction which led to Doctor Wily. Um, basically AI training act for like, I forget how long it is. Did you say Wily or, or Light? I thought I heard you say Wily. Or is it just my did brain? I, did I say Wily? Oh. You might, I'm not sure. <laughs> and now you're just being an asshole. 60 years. Yeah, the, the zero flaw of robotics where robots must first serve humanity. way too early. Well, that's... that's not good. No, please don't kill. Okay, go. What did I just say? He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Bad familiar. Bad! There we go. And this time I'm not getting here almost dead. Like, so it's a big issue with me is I kind of tend to kind of tunnel vision into the game, and so I completely didn't notice how low my health was until I died. I also just realized why I had an easier time myself when I was playing, because since I backed it, I got an extra orb in game, the Umbra orb, and you can make, I think it's the ring, which basically gives you life steal on hit. So I never nice. had to worry about HP as much because I just kept hitting things. It's like, oh, there's the HP. It's refilling. <laughs> I don't think there's any way to get it uh, elsewise, though, unless there's like some secret way. Uh... 
I'm wondering if it's one of the... Ah, yes, the, this is where I was supposed to go, right? Dungeon. Far side of the lake, yes. Not the bee! The fly is... whatever. Anyway, um... I think you might be able to get it through the randomizer. I could see it from the randomizer, because it's coded in the game. You just had to have a, a backer code to unlock it. Yeah. Which I, I guess it's kind of... Kind of goes against the spirit of having a special backer prize. But, uh... Ah! Oh yeah, kind of goes against fear to have a special backer prize if you're just going if you're able to just access it anyway. But yeah, whatever. Thanks, stranger. Gathering food was never quite this much of an ordeal back on Valette. Did you come from the camp? Yes. Uh, like he had many soldiers that attacked me, and Nellis took me in. You're with them? Yeah. Namesake us, Neneus. Harris still was worried about you. you. Better get back then. Thanks again. Come say hi next time you're around. Ow. Level up. I can't do anything there. I guess the standard 2D platforming rules. You don't actually round it. Right? Can't get up there. Unless. <laughs> I love that that's a mechanic of the game freezing enemies to reach stuff. I think there's a couple of spots where they maybe required it while the rest are getting to some stuff early. I think you can get a few items, you know, earlier than you're supposed to if you use that. Yeah, I, I can definitely see that happening. It's like, can, can you think in the way that the game wants you to think? Oh my. Uh oh, it's the mama. And you're killing her babies. Ow. I'm sorry, I didn't want to kill anyone, but they attack first. I like how they just kind of explode into a pile of feathers. I don't think it's a llama. It is a mama, but not a llama. Unless it's a drama, uh, unless it's a drama, mama, mama. That, that is a fun thing that I just said, drama, mama, mama. Say that three times fast. Drama, mama, mama, drama, mama, mama, drama, mama, mama. <laughs> it just sounds like ah la 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 la. <laughs> So something that is hard to say fast that uh, I was just reminded of yesterday. Unique New York. Unique New York. Unique New York. Unique New York. Ooh, that, it does feel weird ugh, saying that. <laughs> Alchemy tools. Oh, what's over here? Oh my goodness. Oh, I, I just saved, so. Um. <laughs> First the mama, oh. now the queen. Did, did, did it just vomit? 
One of its attacks is its projectile vomit. Yeah, it's trying to feed you. Oh dear. Open wide. No. I don't think that's hurting me. When it when it kind of throws me against the wall. Ow. That's hurting me. Okay, you can stop that any time. ABC food already been chewed. Ow. Queen down. Warp shard. I like the sound of that. And to teleport to the last gate used. So it's a bit limited in what it can do. Twin pyramid key. Oh, well, I, there we go. Who are you? What is this? Look, my dear, a visitor. A visitor is right. You're not from around this place, are you? Or this time. And she has a little pet, too. My, a dream dragon, is it? You must be very passionate. I can sense her rage. It fills me up. Perhaps we would be more to your liking, my dear. You can have us both. I know you want to. We could give you power. The power you want to get your revenge. No. What? The pet talks. <laughs> Barely. How adorable. Chaos, no. Oh no, we're not so bad. We only feed on drama. And this world has provided us with plenty, hasn't it? Ah yes, our dear Lana. We would not be here without her. Such anger and hatred. Hmm. And now we will help her with her little war against Villette. You're helping the Lucky Yang? Of course. We recreated the mob that, ga that guards the portal between worlds. The relations have been so mean to poor Lachium. You know, very upset. Danger! <laughs> oh, cute. Such ambition in you. Good luck, dear girl. Let us know if you want something a little more attractive than your little dragon. You can find us in the castle. We'll leave the front door open. Let's go, my dear. <laughs> so, you talk. Learning. Got a name? Hiya! Ah, yes. The door is the door was responding to the pyramid keys. Oh, it reminds me of the time spinner. Same. Same thing. That's crazy. But we're nowhere near Wendaria. How do you know? Dreams. Linnaeus pieces? Pieces of what? Pieces of hole! Pieces of time spinner! The wheel and the spindle? But I, I could get back after all. Uvius! The Emperor! I... I can still kill him. Oh, how precious! The dragon talks! I feed him. <laughs> no, not the dragon. Dragon, dragon, eat the dragon. Okay, so that opens up the game. 
substantially. There's a little bit more exploration we can do around here. Yeah, once you finally unlock that, it makes the game so much nicer because you can kind of fast travel around now. Dragon Ball Stick! Yes! It's kind of interesting how they they went with the um, the idea of the effectively the loading rooms from from Symphony of the Night, and also made them into the fast travel points. How do you get through these anyway? I guess I just don't have what it takes yet. Do you have what it takes? <laughs> yeah, you'll have to figure out how you can get past those. Uh, still can't get over there. Here, you just, you just need to learn to, to rock climb. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Work those muscles. Climb so that rock, wall. Rock climbing leads to deep hurting. Deep hurting. Oh, oh, you're just gonna keep doing that, aren't you? There we go. Ah. Dude, that went badly. talking about Metroid Dread. Also, hey, uh, Tyrion. Hope you're doing well tonight. Sorry, I am I... bad at chat of words. <laughs> I got Dread, but I haven't started playing it yet because it was right around the time when uh, Back for Blood was coming out and I knew we were gonna be playing a lot of that so I told myself I'll hold off for now but I do eventually want to get to Dread because I've heard pretty much just all good things about it which I'm very happy about I have I've heard mixed things but mostly good hmm, okay That looks fancy. I want that. That's about all I can get in here, I think. So let's just go go on to the. Uh, what point? I've seen a little bit of the new act raiser. Um, 
it's a different experience for sure. Like if you're expecting the game to be like the uh the original um it doesn't quite work out that way. Hey, uh, thanks again for helping me out the helping me out at the lake. No problem. You don't seem like much of a soldier. I'm the Eunice Quartermaster. Never was much for fighting, other than what minor magical talent I have. Oh, really? What kind? I can make small flames. Please roll for cooking. Are you all magical? Well, not every soldier, but n uh, not every soldier, no. But for those of us who are, there is an expectation to serve our empire. It's a job, anyway. But we're stuck here now. Like I'm, uh, uh, lucky I'm took, uh, lucky I'm took control of the portal home. We're going to need food and supplies if we're all uh, to survive out here. You, uh, you're a better hunter than me. I'll cook you. I'll cook you something nice if you can uh, bring me drumsticks from the baby shavora around here. I think five should be enough to make a hearty meal. I'll see what I can do. Uh, I'm gonna turn in the other quest here. Say, I found these tools out by the lake. They look valuable. Someone must have lost them. Thank you so much. I can finally reinforce orbs again. Here. Oh no, you keep it. That's thanks. Anyway, you'll get much more use out, much more use out of it than I will. Thanks. And if you find any jewelry or orbs or anything, let me know. I may be able to, see, to do something with them. How are you feeling? Better. I found some old ruins in the caves around here. They look like the ancient temples from back home. I don't think I, I know where, you, uh, where you're even from, besides the future. The world's far from here. I can use the ruins to get back to my time period. But there are these strange people there. They felt like chaos. That they were working with Alana. Demons. The lot Kiemi summoned them to help to help them fight Bullet. They were kind of rude. Hey, you uh, you said you could return to your time, right? Yeah. I've been What? How does this end? What's going to happen to Bullet? What's going to happen to us? I don't know. I don't really know Lakim's history. Like I said, I'm from a world far from here. But if you can get back to the present, did you find out? Or are there rules against that? You know, I don't think there are. There are rules about how the clan must greet a time messenger, that the messenger must carry the knowledge of their timeline with them, but to accept that it was gone. There is nothing about how to use future knowledge, so yeah, I guess I can find out for you. There is a library in the city in the future. Maybe they have history books. Thank you. Hey, have you learned anything about how, what happens to Bullet yet? Not yet, sorry. I'll check out the Lucky Me Library. Uh, let's give that a try, I guess. Let's see. Orbs. I guess what I should actually do is um, blade with blade, uh, aura with aura, flames with flames. It makes the most amount of sense. I generally stuck to that, but sometimes I just kind of put Colossal Blade on everything because I didn't want to stop using it. <laughs> Fair. You have anything for me? Just wanted to see what you have available. Sure thing. Starting to get hungry, though. Let's see. Okay. 
But yeah, like, I think the biggest change with um, the new Act Razor is that uh, it has kind of quests that you have to do while you're in uh, creator mode. Actually, if I'm going to do the quests, I should probably go back to the lake. So earlier when you turned around, uh, when you came to that, if you had stepped just a few more, you would have saw the drawbridge was up. So you would have had to turn back anyways. Oh, okay. But those uh, those two people have opened the door for you now, as they said. Oh, yeah. Act Razor, you do, you do kind of get the gist of the uh, original game. It just adds a bunch of layers on top of it, especially on top of the creator mode. So if you're looking for an authentic experience, you're not going to find it. If you're looking for Act Razor and more, then maybe you'll enjoy it. Worth checking out. I always have trouble remembering which game was Act Razor? We didn't own it, and I've never played it, but I always know it by name. But I always have to like see a screenshot to remember what game it was. Uh, Act Razor uh, is a game that kind of has two parts to it. So first, you uh, go down to the surface and kill all the things, and then you go into a uh, kind of creator mode where you're guiding a town to. Uh, like how to build and telling them to seal the monster portals. Once you've done all that, you go back down and kill the remaining demon. So that's the one where when you're in the, the like the building mode, aren't you like a little cupid or something flying around? Yeah, that's the one. Okay. And then when you're in the other section, you're like a dude with a sword, right? And you actually like, it's a 2D side scroller at yeah. that point. Okay. I was trying to Act Razor 2 is all 2D side scroller fighting type of thing. Which is probably always... why it's not as popular. That's always one of the ones that, like, you know, I would see in Nintendo Power and be like, ooh, what's this game? But never got to try myself. It's actually a. Um... It's actually a release game for the Super Nintendo. It's one of the first ones that was out. Oh, wow. And when we got <laughs> ours, all we had was the Super Mario World and Street Fighter 2, I think. Something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, you were saying, hey, I'm saying I gotta go for the night. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't really talk more. <laughs> yeah, it's alright. Thanks for dropping by. <laughs> Thanks for stream. Yeah. Have a good one. Good night. Good night. Also, have I been picking up the thing that I need to pick up? I, I don't even. I don't think I have any right now. For which quest? Uh, for. Uh, Uh, not that one. Oh, I have two. Yeah, you've got two of them. You just gotta keep killing more of those birds till they drop them. So how's the uh, stream quality on Discord as well? Uh, on Discord, it looks uh, looks good. All right. Yeah, the Discord's fine. I did notice on the stream. I guess are you using a lower bitrate for that one? Uh, I think it's like two to six thousand. Hmm. Let's see. So it might be airing a little bit more on the low side of that.
Huh. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Earlier, I was getting only like six hundred um, kilobits, but it's it's up now. It it looks fine now too. It's you know around two thousand or so. How can you tell that? Uh, you can turn on video stats on any stream in the corner of the uh, okay. little wheel. You can turn on uh, ad stats and video stats. So I can see the, the buffer, the, the latency, any skip frames, that kind of stuff. I usually do that for, say, like my brother's stream to make sure things look good. Actually, yeah, that, that's a good point. I haven't, I haven't looked at my skip frames. It looks like I have... 237 frames missed due to rendering lag, and I haven't dropped any to encoding or transmission. So already, that's a lot better than I used to do. Yeah, and from my end at least, on the Twitch one, it shows 571 frames skipped, but in 2 hours and 10 minutes, that's nothing. Yeah, it used to be a lot worse. I think... Uh, I think there was probably some sort of fuckery going on with my network configuration that was making it go a lot slower than it should have been. But the entire network configuration was erased, so... Problem solved! Yeah, and hopefully problem solved with uh, whatever was going on with OBS, too, because... Yeah, hopefully. I mean, hey, we're two hours in, so far so good. Hope it stays it does that happen way. randomly. Though. But usually, usually it would happen like within the first two hours when it did. And right. we're getting into two hours now. On the note of issues, uh, I'll be right back. My Discord keeps... I think it's, like, getting feedback. Let me close and restart it, so I'll be back in a second. All right. And good night, Cal uh, Calman on Fire. Thanks for Yeah, night on me. fire. I guess I could just grind this screen. Meet me tonight. I feel like chicken tonight. Like chicken tonight. <laughs> So. so how do you like the game so far? I'm enjoying it. It's, it might be a little, a little bit of a slow grind as mm -hmm. far as, you know, getting all the quests done. I might not do all of the quests, but I want to do it to do at least a couple of them to get a sense of it yeah yeah definitely if you spend time doing all the side quests it'll take a bit longer i have your meat well there's something i usually only hear about boys say but thanks one freshly cooked drumstick coming right i got anything else not for now ah 
So that unlocked this, I imagine. Mm -hmm. uh, let's grab a couple. For now, I think I'm just going to advance the game. Yeah, admittedly, it's uh, it's a little slow going, especially at first. Um, it's down here. Being able to teleport to the jump points helps a lot for sure, but uh, I kind of wish that you would get like a a speed thing earlier. Yeah, I'm hoping that's something that. Uh... Well, I, I guess with uh, with the randomizer. Um, I'm guessing that the, the pyramid key is probably something that comes up fairly early in general. Interesting. So Lockheed is basically a prison colony? That's what I'm getting from that. It honestly took me a little bit to kind of wrap my head around the story and what was going on. Mostly because trying to remember who is who with all the names kind of threw me off. Okay, so I can't walk on the surface of the water. <laughs> No, you cannot. I, I can imagine you know why I tried that. Oh, yeah. That's worth a try. Exactly, <laughs> Tyrion. That, I do that still is have why... To... Is that... Yeah. I, was like, I do still have to uh, play that at some point. I have it, I just have not... have not set aside the time to play it yet. Still don't know if I want to stream that one or just play it for myself. I kind of want to just play it for myself to really just enjoy it and focus on the game, but I don't know. That's reasonable. Um, like I, I have suggested previously, like play it for yourself first, and then if you're feeling streaming it, then you can do that. Yeah, especially if there's maybe like a new game plus mode or something. Um, I'm trying to think if there was. Um, I won't. I won't say much about um, the late game or anything like that, unless you want me to. Nah, it's fine. I'll just. I'll get to it at some point. I say with my tremendous backlog of games that I'll eventually get to. <laughs> I mean, that, that's was... why... Hmm? Sorry, I just... this one was actually one that was kind of on that list because, you know, I backed it, but I only played it earlier this year. I, I sat on it for a while and I told myself, you know, of all the games that are in my backlog, I probably should at least play the ones that I kickstarted because... I especially wanted those, so I eventually did finally get to this one, as well as many of the other games I kickstarted. I finally played them. Yeah, I I kickstarted La Mulana too, and I've never played it. Still, ah, no. <laughs> I've seen two Let's Plays of it though. I've seen Deceased Crab because Deceased Crab was. Inevitably going to play that because, you know, he's the one who popularized Lana Lana in the first place. Yep. Yeah, you know that was going to happen for sure. And also, uh, Rao Cat. Um, let's play it as well. Which his let's play actually started uh, after and ended before Deceased Grabs. Because he kind of <laughs> ran into a wall, and then that he didn't like that very much, and he stopped playing for a long time. But eventually, he came back and finished it. I wonder. I'm trying to think. Are there any games that 
I've had where I got maybe stuck for one reason or another. Not not that I took a break. There's plenty of games that I got distracted by other things, or maybe oh, I just yeah. took a break, but I don't know if there's anything that I've gotten like me frustrated at stopped. There's ones that I never came back to. But I haven't like quit too many games. Most I usually either finish or take a break because I'm distracted by other things, but not because I was hating the game or anything like that. Yeah. One game that, that I do want to eventually finish is um, Octopath Traveler. Because it is a good game, it's just extremely broken. Because right now everyone, like all of my characters are uh, finished Chapter 3. But they're like the recommended level for chapter four is so much higher than what I have. So it's like now I have to grind to get up there. It's like, uh... yeah, in, in general, I like a grindy game every once in a while. I don't mind doing some grinding, but especially these days, there's only a certain level that I can do that. There's only so much time I can also invest in in something like that. And I feel like Octopath doesn't really lend itself all that well to grinding. Like, th there are some ways to increase your, um, your XP game, but those same ways can immediately kill your party, too. Interesting. So, Lakim starts as a prison colony and then they declare independence because they're tired of Valette's shit. Okay. There's a game I have that I've played quite a bit of. It's called Riff Racer. It's one of those uh, rhythm games where you feed it a track or uh, music and it creates a track it's a okay. i say it's a racing game but it's not really racing you you drift but uh you know you're driving a car and um i got all of the achievements except for the last one which is basically buy all of the extra colors and skins or whatever for the cars and there's quite a few of them but it just takes so much grinding and i've kind of chipped away at it but i look at it and it just feels like it's going to take forever and I just, I don't know if I want to bother. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely feel that. Ow. Which is a shame, because I, I like playing the game. It's just kind of fun, because you put you can put your own music in. And um, I, of course, just put in, to being a, a, a game where you drift, I got to put in Initial D music. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much all I play I, on there, I but it's so fun. That, I knew that's where that was going. <laughs> It's just so fun. It's it's the music gets me amped. It's like I can listen to music I like and I can drift at the same time and, and score points what? and Yay. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> well I survived that. Yeah, like there there's a game that I wanna make. Ooh, new orb. Oh, pure iron, my precious clothes. Hmm. You know what? I am kind of enjoying the fire one. But I guess I should probably at least try it out. Oh, yeah. I think it's worth giving them all at least a little bit of time just to see how you like them. They swing a little slower, but they're they're meatier. And with being able to equip three different weapon sets, you can kind of maybe have that for the bigger targets. Yeah, that's a much harder hit. Yeah, big numbers. Because you'll find certain enemies, it's more effective to, say, have big single hit numbers or a bunch of little 
smaller multi-hit numbers. It, there's some enemies where one's more effective than the other. Hmm. The more I think about it, I think it wasn't so much the fire orb, the base orb, that I didn't care for as much. I think it was the amulet uh, or ring, whichever one, uh, ability that I didn't care to use. You mean that? Yeah, just because it's it's a close range, you kind of have to stand there to use it. I'd rather use just the Colossus Blade because it's just a big swing. That is reasonable. I imagine the randomizer makes it a little more interesting because I think if you could get some of the orbs earlier than you normally would, you kind of get to use them in some of those areas because admittedly, there's a lot of orbs in this game, but some of them you inevitably will get more towards the end, so you kind of don't really get to use them that much, which is kind of a shame, especially if you like them. Yeah. Like, while, while I was, uh... Fledgling world or interesting. While, while I was inputting the item list for Time Spinner, uh, I noticed, like, 12-ish? That's some orbs. That sounds about right. So, by, by doing that, I did, like I said, minorly spoil the game for myself, but... Yeah, but relatively minor. Like, ju just having some names of things doesn't really mean much if, uh... You don't know what those names mean in the context of the game. They, they, uh, Valette is concerned about, uh, Lockean claim to independence, but they're just kind of letting them do it for now. Oops. Familiar specializes in healing magic. Hmm. Oh, geez. I wonder if One that wouldn't things. be. Hmm? Sorry, uh, go ahead. I wonder if that wouldn't be a better uh, strategy for my. Uh, a uh, better idea for my strategy of face tank everything. <laughs> it, you know, it might be. Get a little bit of extra healing without having to think about it. Sorry, Maya. <laughs> I will say for the, the, the familiars, it's nice having them there. And I like that you can find different ones. But much like everything else, you know, they also can level. But they yeah. only, I think, get experience when they get the final hit, which kind of made it hard to level them, because I usually killed before they could. I had to intentionally, like, stop and let them kill to level them up. Hmm. But they're just oh. kind of extra help anyways. You don't need the familiars. Yeah. Also, I noticed that the healing sprite can also deal damage, which I don't think the... Uh, I don't think the fairy in... Symphony could do that. Oops. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, uh, I had started to mention and then cut myself off earlier that I there is a game that I kind of want to make that would uh, basically be a that sort of game where you can load up your own music, but it would be a schmuck. I'm not really sure how well that would work out, but maybe someday I'll be able to actually get that off the ground. Would it be like the the music generates a, a, a pattern of bullets that you dodge? Like it generates the... Uh, well, the... Like... The... Hmm. Hang on, let me... Structure my thoughts. Um, the the idea is that like the stock of levels that comes with the game would uh, be like pre-programmed, and you could make your own levels with the level editor, or you could just throw a uh, a song in and it will just generate a new level. Now. My health is running low. Well. Yeah, you just got shot in the back of the head. Everything hurts, why? There we go. Alright, have a good night, Tyrion. Thanks for coming by. Well, hello again, my delectable dear. I thought I smelled your sweet rage. So what do we owe this pleasure? Perhaps you finally come for our pleasure? Not that, I, not that I don't like what I see, but no, I've come to stop you. <laughs> How darling. How droll. I don't know what you're planning, but it ends now. Oh my, she doesn't even know how this plays out. The accidental savior of Valette. <laughs> oh, how rich. Come on, girl. Show us how, you, how much you care about your future. Since you clearly care so little about your past. Whoa, what's going on? Chaos. What does that mean? Uh, there's something that... Okay, so... There is this Chaos Rose, which turns off the Chaos... Wait, my sand is gone. Is that what that does? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Chaos drains your sand slowly while the effect is uh, on you. It will go away over uh, after a few seconds, there though. So it's, it's gone now, but now your sand is depleted, so you gotta recover it. Okay, time to use an item. Um... Ah. 
Ah. And that is hard to get by. There we go. Oh, that was a workout. And I prefer to get my cardio in other ways. You may have defeated us for now, girl. But you haven't won. It was our dear Lana that brought us here in the first place. Attracted us. And how attracted. Since the little girl doesn't know, let's, let's spoil the plot for her, shall we? The mob of Asmodeus was Alana's idea. Sweet revenge for her dear Philia. With it, Alana destroyed the entire planet of Villette. Such beautiful destruction. Yawks of a kind were her idea, too. We're simply bystanders, really. Very pretty bystanders. Alas, we must bid you farewell, but only for now. We'll always be in your dreams. Entire planet destroyed. The lucky the queen was uh, really initiated all this. Surprising, I guess. There's still work to do then. But did stopping them do anything? Still weakened. The demons won't have as much of a hold anymore. Your speech is getting better. I grow strong. To I grow stronger. As to you, without the demons, a new spell, uh, a new power will. Have taken hold in your time. Maybe I'll be able to get farther then. If lucky and weaker. But it sounds like there's still work to do. If I'm so if I'm going to save Valette, I have to destroy that ma at the portal. And if I'm going to kill Anubius, I'm going to have to stop a lot too. There are many things still to change to get his attention. Anubius will die. Ah, double jump. <laughs> yes, one of, one of the first great powers to get. It's like, oh, thank you, double jump. Makes it so much more bearable. Really, one of the one of the great powers to get in any game. Any game, double jump is so good. I think was it in Hollow Knight that was one of the powers I was most excited to finally get. Yeah, that comes that comes like pretty late in Hollow Knight, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. It's quite a bit into the game. Wait. I immediately forget that I have it. <laughs> oh hey buddy. Yep. Mm, I'm gonna ignore you. Hope you don't mind. Bye. Okay, I guess I should at least kill one of them. I'm sure there's a destiny or something. <laughs> He's like, oh, come on. Don't you want to play? Where are you going? There it's you not go. that tough anyway. I think they're just uh, annoying because I think those or similar ones can uh, hit you with the chaos. Yeah, the the familiar there just leveled up and definitely didn't have the last hit. So why did I jump into that? History. Like it's before Alana became all powerful. A compassionate person, but now is destroying Villette? Questions.
you know, now that you mention it, maybe I was remembering wrong. I think it might be the familiar has to at least get damage in on the enemy to count experience for them. Maybe that's what it was. Okay. So if it's not last hit, I think I just had to stand and let them, you know, hit once, get damage. I think that's what it was, because I would often kill before they even had a chance to swing at them, so they wouldn't be leveling with me. Ow. Once again, that dilemma of which way is, quote-unquote, the right way. I try to look at the map and say, which one looks like a dead end? But in this case, there you are. Wait. I thought I saw something. I think also there should be a way to I think you can backdash but I like you can slide backwards but I oh, think yeah. I didn't find it very useful I want to say cuz doesn't it isn't there like a slight delay from dashing like when you hit it I don't remember if it responded instantly uh seems for it to respond pretty quickly for me Maybe it's not the initial. I think after the animation, I think you're like stuck for a split second oh, before you can. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's that's what made it kind of not too usable for me. I really didn't use it for most of the game. I think I tried backdashing, like turning around and then backdashing to see if it would be faster. You know, kind of like dash across the room. But because of that slight delay at the end of it, it's not faster. You're better off just running. And they probably did that on purpose, too. Yeah, I would imagine. Uh, literally, like, backdashing through Symphony of the Night is the fastest way to get through it. And I, and I think that's why. I think it's like, okay, you can use it to dodge, but you can't abuse it in this game. Yeah. Okay. Hey! Welcome to the merchants, uh, the merchant grow shiny stuff in Thorium! Wait, what are you doing here? Ugh, like a little thing like time would keep me from being here and there. How old are you? Age has nothing to do with it. We ascended past restricting things like, like that eons ago. Or really, like, like the wind! Whoosh! Want to see my collection? I love the crow. <laughs> <laughs> Their interactions are funny. Decent collection of stuff here. Um... And these are upgrades. Well, that's not an upgrade. Clearly someone thinks that this is more valuable than it actually is. It probably has something. I forget what the shiny rock was for. I honestly can't remember because I didn't get it towards the end of the game because it's so expensive. Hmm. But it seems like an obvious idea of this is a crow, it likes shiny things. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe it was for an achievement. I can't remember. <laughs> I would be surprised. Definitely, definitely uh, like an end late game thing you go for, and there's no need to farm for it. I mean, unless you really want to. Unless you just really <laughs> like shiny rocks. Hey, buddy. <laughs> nope, can't do that. All right. <laughs> you might be able to. I can't remember if you can or not. It might be worth trying again, maybe when it's just a little lower. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. There you go. Yeah. You had the same thought I did. I saw that, like, that's <laughs> that's got to be the way to get up, right? They want you to do that? Oh, there's the chaos. There's the chaos. Oops. Wrong about me. But, wait, didn't they ship people to Lachium so that they're not near the plasma pods? I might be misinterpreting. See, and I don't fully remember either, and I think some of the documents you find out of order, right? So it's not all chronological. So it's almost like once you get all the pieces, then you can look at the whole thing in order to get a better understanding of everything. Maybe don't restart time while you're standing on the enemy. <laughs> the enemy that gives you chaos. Exactly. Oh. It's just all gonna give me sand because I have no time. Oh, you're friendly. Yeah. 
yeah, like the, this this game so far really feels good to play, and I look forward to getting the vanilla run of this done so that I can start playing it uh, on Archipelago. Yeah, definitely got to know the vanilla before you can dive into the randomizer. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to 100% vanilla before I do this random style, though, because I kind of don't want to wait. I mean, I think you're good not getting 100%. You'll miss a couple of secrets that, like, oh, you got to come back to this one room now that you have these, you know, three abilities and you can get the one treasure chest, but I think it's fine. Yeah. You don't have to get it all. Yeah, it's unfortunately not going to be... Oh, here we go. So you're the one wreaking havoc on our world. I'm here to stop you. I'm here to stop Lakian uh, from becoming the oppressive empire. You make it. Your cruel army won't get a chance to conquer other worlds. I make it an, oppre an oppressive empire? Sending my army to conquer other worlds? Here, girl, you're thinking of Valette. Valette, who oppressed their citizens, banished their dissenters to die a slow death in this wilderness. Who ruled with a bloody fist and killed Lakian's first queen. My war is a worthy one, girl. With a plan to destroy a planet? Use demons in your armies? How else could we achieve peaceful independence? You're just like Bolette. Shut up. Just try to stop me. Gladly. Shut up. Now fight me. <laughs> oh, jeez. How did I only get hit once? Really? Okay. I was not expecting that pattern change. Actually, I believe this is the point where U0 would say, Higurgur, Higurgur, Higurgur. Anytime there's electricity. Higurgur, Higurgur. Oh, jeez. Okay. I think it's time to use the knight. I'm guessing that there's a cap of nine of each item. I believe so. But yeah, um, if today's stream is successful, I'm not going to be streaming on Sunday because of Desert Bus for Hope. When does, uh, when does that start? Uh, on, um, Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific. Oh, shit. Ah. All right, where do I start from? That feels like a little ways away. Well, not that far, actually. Yeah, there it is. How yeah. long does the, the desert bus stream usually go for? A couple uh, of days? It is variable because it depends on... But its length depends on how much money they get. But uh, usually it runs for about a week. Do they usually make it to the end destination? Because is how far is away do you have to go in that game? Um, it. I forget the the actual distance, but I know it's about eight hours drive. 
the eight Leon hours. Gotcha. And yes, except for last year where they had a remote system for playing and they ended up crashing a lot and a lot of weird intricacy inter in intricacies, if I can say that word. Um They only got two points last year. But usually they get like somewhere between like seven and ten. Hey, Jewel. When you oh. said they uh, crashed a lot, I thought you meant crashing the bus. <laughs> yes, exactly. But yeah, uh, this year they're doing it differently from last year, because last year was all remote. This year they're doing it half remote. So two of the shifts, um, the two daytime shit, like... The two, like... Okay, so the one in the afternoon and the one in the evening are going to be... Um, in person, and the one overnight and morning are going to be remote. Well, in that case, good morning, Joel. I'm glad I could be there to um, light up your day, I guess. Hold, please. I yield. You're powerful. You're wrong. I've been no better, uh, no better than Bullet. I never wanted this to become this. I came here with peaceful intentions, and then I began to see what Bullet had done to Lockheed's people. And so you're on a path to destroying them all and turning Lockheed into a powerful empire. I was blinded. You don't have to kill me to stop this. You've banished the leaders of the demons. Now I'll begin the process of casting the rest out. I don't want a world influenced by them. I don't want to be a military power. How can I trust you? What do I look like to you right now? Broken. My desire for revenge is gone. I just feel empty now. Fine. If you make Lakim a peaceful place, then I don't need to kill you to change things. What about the, the Valations still on the planet? You will make peace. It will take time to spread the word, to remove the more warmongering elements of my nation. But it will be done. Good. Be that it is. You've made a difference here. Thank you. I won't betray your kindness. We could still use your help, you know. It's easier to make a better world with allies. I have a duty to fulfill still my own revenge. Will it be worth will it be worth the sacrifice? Plasma orb. Revelation orb of crystallized plasma electric use foes at the cost of aura. Short and sweet. Alana. No, fuck you. Just, I mean, 5 a.m. is still morning. Wait, there's something. There's definitely something up there, but I don't think I can actually. There. Um, about the fire orb.
Yeah, that costs aura. Don't know how I feel about that. There will be things to make that more usable, but oh, the plasma orb is so good. Mm. Uh, no, I'm gonna use Colossal Blade. Who am I kidding? Yeah. Ooh, that is some range. Massive range. Let's at least play for it now. I'll play with it now. So far, no. Uh, the computer has not locked up. It's been about three hours now. And so far, well, so far, so good, really. Let's hope that this keeps up. That's not working so well. Yeah. The damage on the plasma orbs are definitely a little weaker, but with the range and the semi kind of auto aiming i like it for plowing through areas it's kind of just i just kind of fire and let it do the work for me hmm. they all stole interesting I don't think I can get back up there unless I go around the long way. Which is unfortunate. Uh, let me go back to the save point here. Okay, so at this point I'm going to take a short break. It's not going to be a full 15 minute break. Uh, I just need to go to the bathroom and also medicate and also cut the recording so that um, I have this in two parts. So uh, I will be right back in uh, within the next five minutes. 